it's big enough, Dave. It was big enough that they started their own competition and they all went to AEW. Like a lot of those AEW fans are fans that were in WWE and pissed off, like what they did to CM Punk or what they did to oh, yeah. Ryan Danielson or what they did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just got tired of being screwed over. And I think some of them also just wanted to see a different style of that too. Of, of wrestling. And, and um, you know, there's a lot of weird dynamics that got into AEW. It's like there's 20 different things that had to happen that, you know, like they had like about a nine month period to have it happen. And it would be very difficult to replicate it. I mean, when I look back, like if AEW does end up making it and we look back at that first year, I mean, the story of so many things falling into place, not everything fell into place, but um Enough fell into place because it easily could have never gotten off the ground. I mean, they needed they needed the TV. They needed the guy with the money. They needed a, a, a bunch of marketable guys who were going to be free agents that were really, you know, because and they weren't WWE guys because really, except for Moxley, there was no WWE Jericho. guy. Jericho, but Jericho was already kind of pat. He wasn't under contract to WWE anymore. He was a WWE guy, but he'd already gone to Japan. So he right. was already his like 100 percent put out. Yeah, his 100% loyalty to WWE had waned because, you know, he was frustrated because one year he was supposed to be in the main event at WrestleMania and all of a sudden it was the second match on the show. And he kind of saw that, like, Vince is going with younger people and no matter if I out talk everyone or whatever, I'm slotted at a certain level. And then, you know, in in New Japan, he went there and they treated him like he was a superstar. Mm -hmm. And then with AEW, I think he recognized that he could have the run of the place and, uh, Get his get the angles that he wants and wrestle the way he wants and he's not going to be micromanaged and it it actually like you know it led to him falling back in love with wrestling and remember I Vince, I gotta, Vince I wanna, hated I that match too. too 